What's up, everybody? I am Legend here with Ditto Music, and today we're talking about the 10 best monitors and speakers for music production in 2023. And speaking of music production, if you're watching this, then it probably means at some point you want to release that music to the major streaming platforms out in the world today. Well, you're in the right place because at Ditto Music, you can release unlimited songs for streaming services like Apple Music, Spotify, and Tidal, or social media sites like TikTok and Instagram while keeping 100% of the money that you make from your streams. If this does sound like something that you're interested in, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below for you to give Ditto Music a try, a 30-day free trial to see how you like it yourself. But that's not all because today we're doing a giveaway of the Donner B1 Analog Bass Synthesizer. This one's going to whoever leaves our favorite comment, tip, or question in the comment section below, so be sure you're engaging in the video as we go along these different monitors and speakers. It's your only chance to win. You better do it. <laughs> Sounded a little threatening. You better do it. <laughs> do it if you want to, all right? Now to monitor number one, the Genelec 8010A. These monitors are a popular choice amongst musicians and within studios across the whole world. While they are compact, they do still pack a powerful punch, which is why they are still popular amongst broadcast, music production, and post-production studios. The 8010A are ideal speakers for those who are recording on the move and working between different studios if you're someone who is often on the go. Now moving on to monitor number two, the Yamaha HS8s. The infamous white cone, part of the best-selling Yamaha HS series. The HS8 delivers a crystal clear and amazing sound all at an affordable price for independent musicians everywhere. These studio monitors are one of the most popular choices for music producers and home engineers for this very reason, as it allows you to get professional quality sound without breaking the bank. Now these monitors will leave anyone satisfied with their wide frequency range, the detailed high end, and a good bass response. You can also depend on these monitors too as Yamaha is a quite reputable brand when it comes to the things that they make. They've been around for a really long time and they make really awesome products. Now to monitor number three, the infamous yellow cone, the KRK RP7 G4s. Engineered with the best quality sound in mind, the Rocket RP7 G4 is a great value for money. You can also couple it with the KRK woofer and tweeter to get a nice balanced and blended sound throughout. Now these monitors are one of the most inexpensive ones on this list, but I can vouch for their quality as I have the first generation Rocket KRK Five. <laughs> I would recommend these to any musician or music producer who's trying to purchase their first set of studio monitors on a really serious budget. Next up, we have monitor number four, the Atom Audio A7V. Now these are the updated versions of the Atom Audio award-winning A7X speakers. The A7V offers users an easy to use user interface that's controlled via an intuitive remote control app. Artists, engineers, and producers alike can all expect to experience the highest quality sound when it comes to these monitors. Because they offer a balanced sound with high frequency reproduction that won't tear your ears apart, with plenty of low end extension, and all at a slightly higher but competitive price point. Moving on to monitor number five, we have the Focal Shape 65. If you're after attention to detail, the Focal Shape 65s definitely have you covered. These monitors provide an honest and accurate representation of your music as the Shape 65 analyzes every tiny detail and helps you to really hone in your sound. They've got both an amazing build quality, good listening position flexibility thanks to the M-shaped profile inverter dome tweeter that allows for even less directivity compared to other monitors. In other words, the shape of your room won't matter as much to achieving a great playback sound when it comes to these speakers. Now, because of these advanced features, I recommend these to anybody who has the money to fork over to get them but also anybody who's a little bit further along in their music production career that's looking for something a little bit more advanced to tackle their music production. Next up for monitor number six, we have the Neumann KH-150. As with any Neumann model, the KH-150 offers the lowest possible distortion and allows you to hear the most subtle details of your mix, tiny ones. This speaker will make your mixing process a simpler and speedier process with its high precision and responsiveness suited for all types of music production. Known for its amazingly powerful deep low end, the KH-150 provides a strong deep bass response despite its compact size. It's also got a very wide soundstage for creating immersive listening experiences and offers various connectivity options. This allows for easy integration into different audio setups. So we've all heard great things about Neumann and it's definitely for good reason. So buying monitors from a brand like this gives you some sort of comfortability factor in knowing that Whatever you're buying, it's gonna be good quality. Now for monitor number seven, and excuse me for this pronunciation if it's wrong. After these things, I don't know if I'm pronouncing right, to be honest. But the Din Audio LYD7s. 
The LYD7 is a versatile and powerful option designed to bring supreme precision to all of your mixes. It includes a 7-inch woofer to extend the bass of your tracks to get that really nice bass sound. And its versatility comes into play with two different tuning options for you to select from. Free and wall. The free option is going to be good for if you have your speakers on a desk like this or a stand, while the wall setting is going to be mostly for those who want to mount their studio monitors to a wall. I mean, duh. And also, thanks to DSP crossover, you're going to get a more accurate and detailed sound out of these monitors. Now, because of this accurate sound production, these studio monitors are going to be very popular amongst electronic and dance musicians, but also jazz musicians tend to like these as well. Next, for monitor number eight, we have the Mackie HR824 Mark II. This is a re-release of the popular version Mackie HR824. The HR824 Mark II offers musicians a robust speaker option with improved acoustics and excellent low-end response. These monitors provide more accurate and natural sound reproduction for music producers thanks to its solid aluminum zero-edge baffle that helps to reduce diffraction. They're also THX PM3 certified, which makes it really good for producing high quality audio for video games, film, and music production as well. And if you needed another reason to buy these monitors, they actually do come with Avid's Pro Tools First, which is a DAW that you can use for your music production, your vocal recording, and things like that. It's pretty dope. For monitors number nine, we have the Prezonis Eris E8XT. That's a lot of numbers and a lot of letters. <laughs> Providing accurate and affordable sound, the E8XT gives users a powerful bass response with an eight inch woofer, as well as offering a well-balanced sound throughout use. Much like the KRK Rockets, these are a great affordable option for music producers who don't want to break the bank, they're on a little bit more of a budget, and, or they may be beginners in the process and they're not looking for something super advanced. They've got an easy setup and operation that makes it very useful for both professional studios and home studios as well. And they even offer a suite of tuning controls from low cut to mid range to high frequency boost, which allows users to fine tune the monitors to their specific listening experience that they want to engage in. Lastly, for monitor number 10, we have the Kali Audio LP6 V2. Designed to capture the most detailed sounds, the LP6 V2 will keep your sound true to your mix and keep you working towards the highest of standards. They too have an easy setup and operation at an affordable price point for those who want to get into the monitor game, but again, it don't have a lot of money to spend. And with powerful amplification, good frequency response, and also tuning controls, musicians who invest in these monitors will get just about everything that they need in a starting set of studio monitors. So that's it for all 10 speakers. Which of these do you have yourself or which of these would you like to buy for yourself in your new studio setup? If it is new, if you're trying to upgrade, or maybe you're trying to buy your first studio pair, which of these would you be interested in having in your studio today? Remember to let us know in the comments section below for your chance to win the Donner B1 Analog Bass Synthesizer. Stay legendary and I'll catch you in the next one.